My name is Elizabeth and I work at the North Canton Public Library. I'm an adult and teen services librarian and I love making crafts. So I'm gonna help you guys make some crafts. Um, I have a tissue paper flower, you can see. And we've got some pom-poms. Here I've got a bigger flower. It's my face for size. Okay, got another small flower. And then my pom-poms. Be really fun to make for a party. Not that anyone's really having parties right now, but you know, my birthday's coming up, so I'll just make a bunch for myself. Why not? All right, so now let's go over the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need some sharp scissors, pipe cleaners. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you could use string or you could use a stapler to keep it closed and tissue paper. So here I have um, nine pieces of tissue paper that I cut into 10 by 10, um, a 10 by 10 square. And it just depends on how big you want it. So for example, this large flower, this was 20 by 20. So this will be half the size. Okay, so you're gonna lay your nine pieces on top of one another and try to get them um, as straight as you can. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in about an inch, maybe a little less for a smaller flower. Fold that in and then you can see, flip it. And you're gonna make um, a, like an accordion. Or if you um, ever made a fan, like back in the day at school or something, same thing. So, go ahead and keep flipping, keep folding. Until you get to the end and I'm just going to trim off my end a little bit here. All right, so here you can use your stapler if you don't have the pipe cleaner, you want to get it in the center. I'm also going to use my pipe cleaner though. And then I'm just going to wrap that around. And just kind of twist it. Okay. So now you want to decide how you want your flower to look. So you can either do uh, pointed edges or rounded. Um, so with most of my other flowers, I did rounded. So now I'm going to do pointed. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut all these edges into a point, so like that and that. And with this one, I think I can cut it all together. Just depends on how many sheets you have. Okay, you can see the first part there. And Same thing with the other side. Okay, so we've got both pointed here. All this you can use for confetti. It's really pretty with the other colors if you have more than one color. Okay. So now you're going to open it up to the best of your ability and you're going to take the top sheet of tissue paper and gently pull it up away from the others. And you're going to do that with the other side. And you want to pull it in as far as you can. And try not to rip it, but if you do, it should be okay. 
it's gonna be so fluffy it won't matter. You're just gonna keep doing that. Bring it to the middle. And just kind of fluff it how you like. And there you go. Got a flower. All right, so now for the pom-pom. And I already prepped this one, it's the same thing. Um, on this one, I used 15 uh, sheets of tissue paper, different colors, and I just kind of did it in a fun pattern. I just secured it in the middle with the pipe cleaner and you can see on this one how I cut the edges so they were rounded and it's pretty similar um, to the other one the other flower that we just did except you're gonna pull the tissue paper from both sides so I'll show you so do the first layer here This is what you're going to hang it from. Okay, so we did the first side, and you want to bring it into the middle as much as you can so it's uh, easier for the end uh, sheets. Now you flip it and you bring this side up. And you do want to go back and forth just so it works out um, nice and even and it looks better that way. And flip it and do the next layer.
completed large pom-pom. And there we go. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make the pom-poms and flour. And I hope you'll share pictures with me. And thanks for watching.